All right, well, the year is 2023. Let's talk about are CDs still a thing? Are they still something you should be considering investing in to sell to your fans? Or are CDs a thing of the past, right? Let's talk about in this video. First and foremost, let's make this interesting. Hi, I'm the owner of a CD duplication company, $1CDduplication.com. So although I'm biased, I'm gonna be very factual with this, okay? Are CDs today what they were five, 10 years ago? F no right you're right about that is streaming where majority of people consume their music today yes you are right about that okay so should you focus on growing your followers and getting your streams up yes absolutely right another side thing outside of streams i hear people say cds are dead you need to just sell merch should you sell merch to your fans 100 percent, absolutely you can start making money today by utilizing the resources you have at hand right you might have five fans right now you might have 10 fans right now you might have 50 fans right now you can sell them a 20 to 30 dollar to 40 dollar t-shirt hoodie if you're even smarter you'll, you'll create a pack for them right i go by crackalack i'd call it like a crackalack fan pack crack you would get the t-shirt that's normal normally 25 the hoodie that's normally 35 and the CD you throw that in there raise the value to $60 something like that artist name fan pack or maybe you have a name that you call your fans don't use this but like with me crackheads crackhead nation crack nation fan pack something like that that's what you should be doing bundling the things that you offer into a thing where they're getting more than one thing at a discounted rate people want to save money they want a discount back to CDs based on my Google search right here on average a million streams equals about four thousand dollars that you would get okay think of how many people 35 people are right like literally if i were to say 35 names right now you would be waiting for me to stop mike john paul brian nick david jacob josh Quan, dante ryan i'm running out of names and that was like less than 15 names right there so let alone 15 think about 100 people think about a thousand people think about 10,000 people 100,000 people 1 million people let's do a google search i just searched how many people fit in a football stadium the range size of nfl stadiums currently varies from 60 000 to 80,000 people so let's say 70,000 picture have you ever been to a football game let alone an nfl game you see how many people are there that is a lot of human beings and again let's do the average 70,000 people are there you would need at least 14 stadiums full of people that is a million people that's a lot of people you need all of them to listen to your song think about how hard that is let alone just one stadium of people an entire stadium would be seven 70,000 people. We're talking, you need 14 different stadiums full of people to listen to your song. What is the likeliness of you achieving that? That's extremely hard. That's how you get $4,000 from your fans streaming your music, okay? Obviously, you should be focused on streaming because people listen to music on there, so you need to have your music on there for them to listen to it because you're smart. You should be doing that. Let's think like a business, though. So now let's move on to the next thing. Let's talk about merch. Should you sell merch? We already covered that. Absolutely, right? If you didn't know, I own a clothing line, so I'm aware of what things cost to get merch made let's just say on average it's going to cost you at least 10 ish dollars to get a t-shirt made let's say you sell that for 20 dollars your roi i'm talking to you like a business now your roi is 100 percent. you're doubling your money you're taking a 10 dollar investment buying a shirt let's pretend that this is a shirt and you're selling it to your fans for 20 dollars and you just doubled your money in business you usually want to at least double and a half your money to 3x your money. So if something costs you $1, you should sell it for at least $2.50 to $3. So if something costs you $10, you should sell it for at least $25 to $30 to run and operate like a business. Now, did you know that at least with $1CDduplication.com that you can get as little as 100 CDs for less than $100? The most expensive package costs a dollar a CD. There's packages for 80 cents a CD. So now let's say you got 100 CDs that cost cost you $100, you sell those to your fans. I would say you can sell a CD to your fan for at least five to $10. And then the smart people, what they do is they autograph the CD and now it goes from $10 to $20. You have an autograph CD. I've seen a lot of independent artists. They're eating, eating. Get in my belly. Selling CDs to their fans. Your fans want to support you. So you need to move and think like a business and sell something to them. Now, when it comes to moving like a business, profit is important right progress is in the profits I just thought of that shit right now so how do you profit in business you get things for cheap if you ever sold drugs in your life you know buy it for low sell it for high that's how you make money you're gonna get these CDs for one dollar and sell them for minimum 
of five to ten dollars that's five xing to ten xing your investment i said if you autograph these i would sell them for a bare minimum of ten dollars autographed ideally you want to say twenty dollars twenty dollars autograph cd you're taking a one dollar investment and 20 times in it that would be like you getting a ten dollar t-shirt and selling it for two hundred dollars does it seem like it'd be hard to sell a t-shirt for two hundred dollars it would be does it seem like it would be hard to fill up 14 stadiums full of people listening to your music in order to make four thousand dollars that'd be very hard now what if you were selling cds let's do the math if you were to sell 400 cds for ten dollars you'd make the same amount of money as getting 14 stadiums full of people to listen to your song i'm gonna say that again for you to really process that option one streaming the average nfl football stadium holds 70,000 people you would need 14 stadiums full of people to listen to your song option one and you get four thousand dollars option two not a million people not the 14 stadiums full of people 400 people right now you know 400 people that's very realistic and you just need to get them to spend ten dollars with you now there's going to be a small percentage of them your diehard fans your most loyal people to you they will happily spend twenty dollars to support you and again you autograph that so when it comes to business again progress is in the profits you need to be profiting so should you sell that ten dollar t-shirt for twenty or twenty five or thirty dollars yes but again what is your profit it's 2x, 2.5x, maybe 3x. You get that hoodie for $10, $15, you sell it for $30. You're 2xing your investment, you know, maybe 2.5xing it. When it comes to a CD, you're getting it for a dollar, you're selling it for a bare minimum of $10. You're 10xing your investment. I'm friends with people who have made hundreds of thousands of dollars selling CDs this year to their fans. Let's assume that every single CD player on earth didn't exist. People are gonna buy your CD and collect it. They're gonna buy it, they're gonna be like, yo, this CD is from artists name i love his music i'm so happy that i was able to support him because you can't say i'm doing ten dollar donations twenty dollar donations no sell them something you have to get something that's valuable that's worth something in a tangible thing something that they can hold in their hands that's what a cd does progress is in the profits you got a profit you got to move like a business you got to think like a business cds is still killing it i have to do this obviously shameless plug if you guys need cd duplication for the lowest prices on the internet go to one dollar cd duplication.com you'll see a pop-up when you go there and it'll say hey do you want to save 10 percent off do that and get your cds pressed up professionally and then offer them to your fans create content of you going around be excited about it guys i just got these you know in the mail i got physical copies right here where's my real fans at where's my my real supporters at without you guys i'm nothing i need your guys' support i have these for sale and then get people to take pictures holding them up you need to be flooding your stories or your timeline with all these different people it's like man it's the thing to do it's like the new thing is like oh man i'm following you and i'm just seeing you post person holding cd person holding cd person holding cd it's like man you, you got such a big fan base perception is the new reality in this world you get 13 people holding your picture it looks like a lot and then what you can be doing like tomorrow the next day or a week later you know weeks from now is you can recycle the pictures that you have of your fans that have already took the pictures holding your cds up you know you post a couple of those and you say who still hasn't got their copy i only have a few left hit me up if you need it you gotta sell things you gotta move like a business you gotta operate like a business all right you guys that's it drop a comment let me know if we're sitting down right now what questions do you have for me that i could answer and help you out and then potentially help thousands of other people on the internet out by answering your question in a future video video so drop the comments below subscribe so you're notified next time i drop again if you guys need cds go to one dollar cd i'll see you guys next time yeah